The deep red of a setting sun sits on the horizon in Homer's splendid painting of West Point, Prout's Neck. Below this band of rich colour, soft greys and brilliant white touches of the artist's brush weave between and around the rocks in the foreground. Homer was very pleased with this painting when he finished it in 1900. In a letter to a patron, he expressed the opinion that it was the best that I have painted. But when it was exhibited with Eastern Point in New York in 1901, not everyone agreed with him. A reviewer in the Brooklyn Daily Eagle felt that Eastern Point was a good marine with stormy waves dashing against rocks, but its companion, a buff-coloured sea with an inch of scarlet sunset between it and a buff sky, and some rocks pounded by spray that throws itself at one point into a stiff column, is hard in its lines, without air, disagreeable and cheap in colour, and altogether mournful. West Point Prout's Neck was conceived over a long period of time. Homer spent many evenings looking at the sunset off the coast of Maine towards Old Orchard Beach. He watched how the clouds moved and changed shape, and how they gradually dissolved to allow the warm sunlight to tint the sky with a radiant glow. The absence of human figures focuses our attention on the sunset and movement of the sea, and the power and beauty of nature become the real subjects of the painting.